Take you around Dog Nation in 90 seconds, this is DN90. Hello everybody, I'm Brandon Adams, and this past weekend, football was officially back, or at least I think you can call what Florida was playing a version of football. Better highlights, though, were probably found in the high school ranks, including a couple UGA commits who really showed out. Let me start with four-star wide receiver Marcus Roseme, who did something that everybody loves, certainly in the modern age, the one-handed catch here. Watch Roseme go full extension and bring that home. Seeing that action from him on highlights as captured there on Twitter is a reminder of something the Dog Nation's recruiting insider Jeff Sintel has told us in the past, that while Roseme, as I said before, currently holds that four-star designation, don't be surprised if that rating doesn't increase by the time Rosemey's recruiting cycle is done as a part of the 2020 class. In fact, here is what Jeff has said on that in the past. Sometimes people like to hear about the ratings. Well, folks don't realize how close Marcus Rosemey out of St. Thomas Aquinas in Fort Lauderdale is to being a five-star. He's the nation's number six receiver, a type of body that remind, will remind folks of J.J. Holloman, Jeremiah yeah. Holloman, one of those ideal replacement type prospect targets that could kind of fill a vacating role for the program. Yeah, no doubt about that. Rosemey certainly looked the part there in that highlight clip. However, not to be outdone was five-star running back and UGA commit Kendall Milton, who also made his 2019 debut in a nationally televised game, and he found the end zone. In fact, let me give you a chance to see this from Buchanan High School there in Clovis, California. Uh, Kendall Milton making a man miss, then taking it all the way into the end zone with a dive there, reminiscent of what some of the great running backs from Georgia's recent past, like Todd Gurley or Sonny Michelle or Nick Chubb might have been able to do. In fact, Milton, when he's talked about his love for Georgia, one of the things that he's talked about is his ability to potentially emulate what those guys have done, especially guys like Chubb and Michelle, because they played for the running backs coach, Dale McGee, that Milton will also play for. In fact, here is Milton on that very point. It's huge to me, you know, especially Coach McGee, you know, coaching a majority of those backs so it just shows that he knows what he's doing he knows how to get people to the league and that's my end goal that I want so you know that attracts me. So Milton says his end goal is to play in the National Football League with more highlights like that it's easy to imagine he might indeed get that done and when you look at the Rosemey catch the Milton run and everything else from a busy weekend for UGA recruits on the gridiron I think we can all agree it is indeed good to have football back. For more on UGA recruiting and for all the news Leading up to Georgia's season debut this upcoming Saturday against Vanderbilt, make sure you check out DogNation.com. We'll see you back here again tomorrow for another episode of DN90.